Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and for those on Windows 11, of course, we're going to show you also where is the sync functionalities. In Windows 11, the themes are not synced, that was automatic. And on Windows 10, it depends on what version of Windows you have. Actually, it seems to depend um, largely on maybe if you're reinstalled or not. It's kind of interesting to see that some don't have it in older versions, uh, some have it in newer versions. It's kind of interesting. Some It disappears somehow in some way, somewhere. But um, I guess that uh, Microsoft just doesn't want to sync the themes that you might have with the wallpaper and so on. But you can sync the settings. You can sync the passwords. And, um, you know, have all of that stored in the clouds also. And they actually gave it an interesting name, a better name, I think, in Windows 11, in a way, where it's located. Because most people have only one PC, which means the synchronization would be technically a backup of your settings and apps. Um, in the Windows 10, they don't treat it as a backup, but really adds a synchronization of settings between machines more. So if you have two or more Windows 11 machines, well, of course, there's the synchronizations that's going to happen between machines. But if you only have one and you reinstall Windows, or if you have a new PC with Windows 11, you'll have the synchronization going on. And that works also with Windows 10. So if in Windows 10 you had synchronized those information, if you go to Windows 11, enter your Microsoft account that you used, those synchronization options, those settings, are going to actually be in Windows 11 also as long as the uh, sync is turned on. Simply go and right click your start button, go into the settings. In the settings you'll go into accounts and here go down into simply Windows Backup. And here you will have the options for the settings. Now you will have the Remember My Apps option and of course my preferences will be password language preferences and other windows settings which are the exact same settings and the exact same way of working uh, as windows 10. as you see here no themes windows 11 does not have that at all so you shouldn't have it on any of the um, windows 11 um, you know um, versions that might have and of course there's one little thing here that is remember my apps which says get quick access to your apps on any device which means that it will know all the apps you downloaded and installed uh, through the Microsoft Store and so it will suggest that maybe you need those on a new machine for example or it will ask you if you want to maybe download them if you have two or more Windows 11 machines at the same time so there it is it is what is backed up and one thing that is different also on the um, Windows 11 operating system is that there's a clear info on the top that says the app list is backed up, the preferences are backed up. So it's kind of interesting to see that. Uh, it gives you more details of, you know, okay, yeah, you're backed up, everything seems to be okay. It gives you a visual that it's happening. So this is clearly superior in Windows 11 and the way that the presentation is done. And I think to have changed the name to Windows Backup is probably a good um, a good name for what it is because, like I said, most people will also have only one PC, so technically it's a backup of your settings. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.